Okay, so what also happens is uh, in silicon. So till the time we apply or we have limited electric fields in the channel region, let us go back to the previous slide. So till the time we have limited electric fields in this channel region, what happens as you apply more voltage on drain, hmm, electric field increases. So as you increase the voltage on drain, the velocity of electrons over here increases. So pinch off happens because it, the electrons move very, very fast. So you're not even able to observe them over here. So the velocity of electrons increases. But there comes a point in time where there can be no further increase in velocity. Why? Because then these electrons start to collide with the nuclei of, uh, you know, the atoms over there. Or there are obstacles that they start to hit them and therefore the overall speed kind of saturates. Okay. That is called as velocity saturation. And how does that affect or why is it important for us? How does that affect us? It affects us because if we have a long channel device, then what we would observe is that there is an increase in current until VGS minus VT, the entire gate overdrive region. Whereas in very small devices, what we observe is that the saturation starts to happen earlier. This is because of velocity saturation. Okay, so when we scaled, you know, when we came to uh, advanced technologies and short channel effects started to appear, we started to observe, oh yeah, our old model had said we should get this kind of current. We are getting only this kind of current. What is happening? Then the concept of velocity saturation was devised, created. And we said that in short channel devices, instead of at VGS minus VT, we would say current saturates at what is called as VD sat. Sir? Yes? Sir, uh, uh, can't we say that uh, because the channel length is uh, slow, that's the reason why uh, we have uh, VGS minus VT as slow? Or is it due to velocity? No, no, no. I'm like, okay, so, okay. Let, let, me, let me ask it again, sir. What is electric so, field? What is electric field? Let us look at that. Again, coming back to the very basic question there. Yeah, sir. A rate of change of uh, potential. So delta V by L. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As I go to a short channel device, what happens? L reduces. Yes, sir. For the same delta V, what happens? I mean, electric increases, field increases. Increases, increases. Due to this increase in electric field, we observe that velocity saturation has happened. Now electrons cannot really go to the same speed as they were in the lower electric field. Okay, okay. Uh, so basically, it even depends. I'm like it. It's interlinked towards the length. Even uh, I mean, like it is linked to length. Okay. That is where long channel and short channel devices are being talked about. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, sir. Can you repeat again? Why do we have uh, why do we achieve saturation? I mean, uh, earlier in short channel devices. Okay, uh, is it is it evident, Meher, that uh, the electric fields will be higher in short channel devices? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we will achieve higher electric fields in short channel devices earlier. Right. Hmm. Now, at high electric fields, what happens? But sir. Um, wouldn't the high electric field be you know, dependent on at the width of the depletion, I mean, the depletion region instead of the actual uh, the channel length? Okay, so now over here, we are talking about transversal effect, electric field, the electric field between source and drain. Okay, source and drain, right, right. We're not talking, so, uh, sorry, this is a little confusing, but there are there is a vertical electric field and there's a transversal electric field. Flow of charge from source to drain happens because of transversal electric field. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. That is what saturates. And the, that is what increases so much because length has reduced that we observe velocity saturation of the electrons there. Okay. Okay. All right. Got it. Okay. 
so here just to clarify one thing the short channel means like 65 nanometer 40 nanometer that kind of thing right yeah it could also mean 130 nanometer it could also mean 180 nanometer yeah yeah okay 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 so short channel depends so uh, if you were uh, you know enter into ssd course you will see that short channel uh, depends on doping and the doping profile and so many things so when the region of uh, you know when when this region this region that we're talking about okay when this region no longer remains as rectangular as we want it to be we say short channel effects will start to appear okay so there is a relationship between the length of the device and the depth of this depletion region when the depth of the depletion region uh increases too much in comparison to the length we say short channel effects will appear so this can happen at any length it depend on various things but in terms of technology short channel effects become significantly more prominent at advanced technology nodes because then you cannot even change the doping see over here in older technologies you could increase the substrate doping a bit so that the depletion width remains less but in advanced technologies it's already so high that you cannot increase it any further and you go to various different kinds of implants retrograde implant halo implant super halo implants and so on so that is where ssd mein jaoge they will get much more information about this abhi ke liye in this course let us simply understand it as that uh, in when short channel effects figure in transversal electric field becomes very very high and in that uh, at, at, at that time velocity saturation happens and you see that current doesn't grow as we wanted it to okay yeah sure sir so yes so sir when electric field is increasing does it mean that uh, so velocity saturation is happening because there is more collision yes the speed has become so high that every now the collisions the collision rate increases so much that velocity cannot really increase beyond that so we have reached that electric field at which saturation happens so saturation happens saturation happens at a particular electric field because now this electric field will not increase the velocity and in short channel devices you reach that electric field much faster much earlier okay so also but isn't the rate of collision dependent on density of other atoms that are present there so why it does matter so wo to lattice mein same hi hai yes sir hai na so it is dependent on that let us okay so i have an electron moving from here to that place okay averagely there are 10000 electrons that are moving of those 10000 electrons every second or every microsecond every nanosecond whatever we call it every picosecond 20 electrons will hit some atom okay, okay. so that when they hit they come to a halt so you say they have got decelerated so velocity does not increase or there is a rate of change of velocity and that is fine now at very high electric fields electrons so many electrons are moving so fast and there are so many, like the the number of collisions because the electrons are moving very very fast increases so much that overall deceleration increases significantly number of at electrons hitting atoms increases significantly and therefore velocity cannot increase any further it is not saying that velocity would reduce but any further increase in velocity is offset by the increase in number of uh, collisions okay sir okay got it sir velocity kam nahi kar rahe hum dhyan do We are saying it is just saturated, no further increase because any further increase is also means increase in further collisions. Okay, so it sir, cannot so it, grow anymore. Okay, sir. It has been controlled by the collision. It is limited by the not okay. controlled. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Devajit Rajesh, you have questions, Raj Devajit? Yes, sir. So in one of the previous slide, we observed that uh, as soon as a pinch off is occurring, so the current is getting uh, saturated. It is not increasing. but uh, in in uh, just the previous slide we also observed that you uh, in the short channel devices 
uh, as soon as it is reaching a certain VD, after that saturation is occurring. Yes. So what will happen if it means VD is less than here VGS minus VT. So what will happen when it reaches VGS minus VT? Means what will happen to the pinch of means? So it will happen. Will it occur? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so pinch off will now uh, occur in VGS minus VT only, or so again, you know, uh, that is where I've been insisting that we've been trying to model what is uh, observed on silicon through these equations. Okay. So if we say that now saturation is happening at VD sat, and you want to use that simple model of pinch off only. Then you would come arrive at a conclusion that pinch off happens at VD sat. Mm, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Mm. But no one talks about pinch off when you talk about VD sat. Okay. But if you want to use that model, then that that is what will appear to be the case. Yes, sir. Okay. Understood. Thank Rajneesh. you, Rajneesh. Uh, sorry, in that uh, velocity saturation graph, sir, previous two slides previous. Mm -hmm. Uh, sir, you want to see that slide? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, in this, sir, uh, this is uh, EC uh, that is the critical field. Na? Sir, uh, 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 in case of uh, both long channel and short channel, this mu will be same. So, uh, will this EC be different for uh, when the, the, there is long channel and short channel? That is No, uh, this is the behavior of silicon. Okay, irrespective of long, long channel and short channel, this will all this thing will be same every time. This is the behavior of silicon. This has nothing to do with channel length. So, in okay. silicon, yes. if there are two points, two electrodes you apply, anywhere you apply, when the electric field goes beyond 1.5, there will be no further change in voltage, uh, electron velocity. This is the behavior of silicon. Okay, so okay. Sir, uh, 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 in, I read in a book that there was written that uh, in the long channel model, carrier mo mobility is independent of uh, uh, of applied field. But uh, it, uh, nothing was written when the sh uh, channel becomes shorter, when we uh, bias. So see that what happens again, again, I would come back to the same thing. See what we are, what, what everyone is doing is we are modeling what we are observing on silicon into equations. Okay, so the one way to model it is by using, say, VD sat. Yes. Another person would say that, oh, what I will do is I will still call pinch off at VGS minus VT. What I will do is I will start to change mobility from here. Okay. I will call it as mu sat or mu short channel, whatever. Okay, we are changing mu. So it is about models. Okay. A, a more accurate model would say VD sat. But if, if that book that you read tells you that mobility is dependent on uh, short channel or long channel, that is not actually correct. Physically, mobility doesn't change with long channel length. Mobility is the behavior of silicon. Yes. But that book says, I will want to model it with mobility. Let it model. It is a way of modeling. Okay. In reality, mobility cannot change. Yes, sir. Mobility is the behavior of silicon, is it not? Yes, sir. it will be same for in all cases. Yeah. So if someone is saying that there is an inaccuracy there, but we can't even say it is wrong because that is the way they modeled it. That is the way they modeled this curve. Okay. Sir. It is just different ways of modeling. That's it. Okay. Sir. Okay. Yes. So see, these two curves look so similar, na? Short channel, long channel. So, Lagraki Farak Kahaya. Shivam, you had a question? Yeah, sir. Uh, in transistor, when we talk about the saturation region, sir, is that due to that uh, when VDS it becomes equals to overdrive voltage or it is due to that uh, velocity saturation? So, uh, in short channel devices, it is because of velocity saturation. In long channel devices, we say that pinch off happens and that is why uh, saturation happens. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we look at these two curves, they ke lag ki ki kya aya. You know, they look so similar, but so now scale. look at the Y axis scale. Yeah. Yes. Look at the Y axis. 
Over here, it's gone up till six, and over here, it is at two point five. This is what velocity saturation has done. Because current could not even grow to that level of pinch of voltage. Hmm? Are you able to see this? Yes, sir. So look at it. Over here, I would say that saturation happens at almost VDS of one volt. Over here, the saturation is coming at one point five. So this extra current that was appearing because of increased electric field and therefore increased electron velocity that has not happened. Okay. So similarly, in short channel and long channel devices, the way it would reflect in IGS, VGS, IGS, ID, VGS curve is that you will see that uh, a long channel device, this quadrat, this is quadratic behavior through and through. Whereas in short channel devices, it's quadratic behavior earlier, but then it turns to be linear. Okay, so when you have short channel devices, your models also become more complex. Okay, and PMOS is similar. You just change the, you know, you, you just change the voltages to be negative. So it would appear like this. The, the flow of current is, the flow of charges is from uh, uh, drain to source now and, and so on. Okay, so PMOS, exactly the same thing, same thing applies, just realize it's a dual. It's the opposite of what we talked about in the NMOS. And what is, what happens? So abhi tak hum hum baat kar te, you're talking of linear and quadratic in the super threshold region. What happens in the sub threshold region? Gagandeep, you have a question? Yes, sir, about that uh, short channel only, sir. Can we say that uh, for driving same amount of current, I need a wider short channel device and uh, I can use a less, less width of long channel device to drive the same current? Yeah, to have the same.